Hey guys, so in the last episode, tutorial, whatever you want to call it, video, we finished up with just. Oh, wait there. We finished up just with our, um, our nav bar. That was all working, the uh, hover state worked, and uh, the links would have worked, but we didn't set anywhere for them to go. So if we just have a look at that, there it is. So we've got our nav bar with the uh, the hover states there, uh, links, everything, nice and simple. And basically, we're going to develop this further now. We're going to um, make it into a proper nav bar that people would use, and we're also going to add this logo, which is just a text, it's a little text thing. And um, we're going to add this banner as well, which uh, you see on pretty much every website ever. You see it with a header, it's got like a little image or some text or services that you offer, anything like that. Uh, these links all still work and uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is where we finished up last week or last session, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is our current document, and if we have a look, this is where we currently are. So, where do we go next? Well, if we open a new window with what we want to achieve, which is this. So, let's start by editing the, uh, the nav bar. So, we want it to be uh, white to start with and we want all the text to be black. So, that's all in our CSS then. So the background color of the nav wants to be FFFFF. The text wants to be black, which is um, six zeros. The link text here wants to be black. And I think that's it. So let's have a look. There we go. So we've still got the hover. It's white now. Um, and the text is all black. So that's good. Uh, if we have a look at this, the text is quite a bit smaller. Just so it's a bit neater. So if we quickly change that. So it's this Li. We need to add in a font size. Now that font size, make it whatever you want. Just have a play around 12 pixels. That looks about right. We'll stick to 12. So it's just font size and then however big you want it, 12 pixels. Right. Uh, text align on the nav. We want that to be right. And there it goes, jumps over to the right. So that is about it. Next then we want to include a logo. Now we want to put this inside this UL class because it's inside the uh, you know the navbar area if you like. So we'll uh, we'll put it inside there. So we're going to do a div class of logo. Very good. And then inside this div class we're going to make well, to start with, let's just say logo. There we go, there's the text. It's just jumped there because it's not styled at all. So, what do we want to do? Oh, don't want to open iTunes. Close that. So then, our div class is called logo. So let's start a new one down here. What is going on? Start a new one, so that is called logo. So, the color, we want it to be black. Uh, what else do we want? That is about, well, let's, let's style it properly. So we want it to float to the left. So float to the left means that it will literally, it does what it says, it floats to the left. 
And now because this text is floated to the right, this text can be on the same line because it's floated to the left. So let's stick a little bit of a, a padding on there. So we'll give it a padding left of 20 pixels. Sorry, 25 pixels. Then it's the same as the uh, as the nav. So if we have a look at that, there we go. It's jumped in a bit, so it's all it's all level. 25 there, 25 there. It's all level, which is good. It's what we want. Uh, the next thing, uh, let's change the font size, just because it's sort of a logo. It's supposed to be a bit more definitive. And we'll give it a font weight as well of bold. So if we have a look, it's just making it a bit more, a bit more profound, a bit more obvious. Now you can do whatever you want, change the font family, all that sort of thing, but we don't need to, so we'll just leave that for now. Um, okay, so let's do what we did with the nav then. Let's make it into a link because every website you can click on it. And that will allow you to go back to the home page more often than not. So we'll just do that. That's an iron. Okay, so there's a link. And as you know, it'll go into a link. So we need to do a little bit more CSS just to get rid of that. Which is um, dot logo, not dot log logo any a's inside the logo will have a text decoration of none and a color of black hey how simple was that so now it looks exactly the same but it's actually a link now which is what we wanted so next stage is the uh, the the little banner that we saw. If we have a look here, this little banner. Uh, I've made this image available. Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in my uh, media fire. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But um, if you're if you're following along, just download it first, and then you can crack on. But uh, I'll I'll just I'll just go with it. So after this UL, then because this is all the uh, your links and your navbar area if you like. So after the UL we want to open up another tag and this time it's going to be a div class of banner. Drop that down. So this is going to be banner. We're going to leave banner separate because we might have more banners in the uh, in the page so we'll leave banner separate. So we need to make a new class and this is going to be an image class because we're going to use the image so uh, we might as well make it an image class rather than making another div class make it an image class affect it directly and it just makes it a bit easier so if we do banner image there um, and then after there you want to that's where you grab <coughs> excuse me that's where you grab the uh, the actual image from so we're going to make a new folder called image and then we're just going to call it banner one. So there it is. Uh, you can look at the website, but it's not going to work because uh, I've not saved it in there yet. So if we, where is it? There we go. So in here, wherever your directory is, you just want to make a new folder and call that images and then I've got mine somewhere there so just copy that into your images folder there we go so that's there now and fingers crossed it's still not worked I wonder why Banner one, and it is called 
I know one. Right, I had the wrong extension. I didn't think that would matter, but apparently it does. So as you can see, it's massive, it's too big. We wouldn't want this on a website. Bugger off. Ugh. Right, there we go. So the image is too big. So let's sort that out. First of all, I've just noticed that the uh, the, the margins and the padding on the uh, the nav bar are a bit off. So let's just take that down to zero. Save that. There we go. That's got it right. So all I did was take the padding off of the bottom. So it's top left, bottom right. So just take it off the bottom, change that to zero, and we're fine there now. So we've made uh, a few new classes, and that's what we're going to style now. So after that logo, dot A, what you're going to want to do is a, a new one called dot banner. Open and close that. So in the dot banner, all we're going to want is width which we want to be 100% because we want it to be 100% of the browser window so all the way across the window it will be and we're going to display that as a block and that's it, banner is done so if we have a look not a lot's changed basically not a lot's changed because we've changed the, uh, the banner rather than this image class we've changed this banner class so uh, the banner class has changed, but because the image is unstyled inside of there, it's not changed. So the next one is banner, and then banner image. I think that's what we called it. Yeah, banner image. So now we're going to style the banner image. So we want to give that exactly the same things, 100% width, and display it as a block. Now if we have a look, there we go. That's dropped it down, so it's a nice little banner now. So if we just look across, it's almost identical. It's a little bit different size, but other than that, it's exactly the same. All the links work. The logo works as a... Um, a link as well so you can take that to your home page or you know wherever you want we've got our banner uh, eventually we'll stick something in there like some text or I don't know something and um, that's about it just because I went on about it in the first video let's change the title to banner so there we go we've got banner and what was our nav bar and there we go so if you enjoyed this, stick around for the next tutorial and uh, don't forget to get the this image in the in the description. See you later.